Hi guys, welcome to Cashbury. This is Sulab, and if you still not have subscribed to our channel, press that red subscribe button followed by the bell icon. Today I'm going to talk about the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. I've been reviewing it since the last 60 days. I've used it in and out. I've come to know its brightest points and the dullest features. Well, they're not many, but yes, I'm going to talk about this smartphone and my experience with it. So this is a review of the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. plus so let's go ahead and see what this phone is all about let me begin by saying that samsung went all the way in designing software integrating and bringing a whole new side of the s pen with the new galaxy note 10 plus We have been using the device since over a 60 day period now and we came across a ton of stuff which even this comprehensive review is small for. There is much to talk about of the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus so let's get to it. As soon as you rip the plastic, split the box open, you get to see a luxurious smartphone that will tenderly ask you for attention and within minutes you will magically fall in love with it a super large 6.8 inch touch screen is at your beck and call that merges into the side rails smoothly there are no rough edges on this smartphone and one gets to experience an exceptional glass design on front and back the infinity o design is wonderful to look at and the edge to edge screen experience with just a small dot camera on the front is a design wonder there is almost no chin area on the samsung galaxy note 10 plus and what you get is a full screen experience so let's get the form factor quickly out of the way before i talk more about the display right guys so let's start with the design aspects and display features of this smartphone up front the boxy design works for me However, I have had mixed reactions from audiences who saw it. Most loved it, but there were some who were neutral to it and some who found the Samsung Galaxy S10 to be more attractive. The right side of the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus is plain, while the left side holds the power button as well as the volume rocker keys. The bottom has the primary microphone, the USB Type-C charging port, as well as the speaker grill. But here lies another gem, the all-new S Pen. We'll talk about it more in the performance section of this review. The top part of the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus has a secondary microphone along with the nano SIM tray. Turn it around and you will get to see the neat Aura Glow back panel that has been inspired by the rays of light, which is why you get to see a rainbow-like web gear effect on it. Here you will also find the Samsung branding and an array of rear cameras with the LED flash. This sums up the nifty design. Let's come back to its display. For both work and pleasure, we found the screen to be perfect. Working with the S Pen to take notes, juggle between pages and apps was a treat for us. The text on the screen is crisp and the colors are vibrant. The brightness is just great and the screen does not wash out under the sun. We played a lot of games and videos on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus and the screen never stuttered. The smaller than usual punch hole system of the front camera also did not hinder the gaming and video experience on this smartphone the screen is easy on the eyes in day or night we kept throwing doozies at it and the device kept hitting it out of the park what a wonderful experience this smartphone is so like usual we gave it the stress test to see if it would heat up or the battery might die quicker than usual now on to the more fun part let's talk about its performance and cameras Now on to its performance and cameras. The Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus is not just a beauty on the outside, but has the brains to go with it on the inside. It is a machine crafted to do your daily tedious jobs and much more without breaking a sweat. Since we are reviewing the Indian version of the smartphone, this one comes with the Exynos 9 series, 9825 to be exact. This is an octa-core CPU with a clock speed of up to 2.7 GHz. This kicks in when the phone requires that much power. Otherwise, to conserve the battery life, the smartphone works at an optimal 1.9 GHz with fewer cores active. With it, this smartphone comes with 8 GB of RAM and 256 GB of internal storage, out of which about 12 GB is reserved for the operating system. Graphics are powered by Mali G76 MP12 chipset. 
which is one of the best in the class. Like I said, we played a lot of graphic hungry games on this device like PUBG Mobile and Asphalt 9 Legends at the highest settings and the smartphone didn't shy away from putting its best foot forward. To put it simply, it was a delight to play video games on it. Same is the case when it comes to videos. No matter what you are watching, the latest series on Netflix or FHD videos on YouTube, Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus supplies superior colors and deeper blacks. These are accompanied with a very loud speaker system. But the sound gets better with the supplied AKG earplugs which come in the box. We ran our usual set of tests on it on and to do the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus scored a fiery 3,46,631 points and on Geekbench 5, the device managed 627 on the single core test and 2185 on the multi core test. The compute score stood at 4,644, all of it indicating top class performance. As for the operating system, the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus comes with Android 9 Pie out of the box with Samsung One UI on top of it. The operating system has minimal bloatware and some good to great apps on it. For example, you can multiple mail apps as well as Netflix, which means even Samsung wants you to work and play on this device. There is an edge screen called Apps Edge on the UI as well, which can be swiped in from the right. This hides most commonly used apps. Users can even customize the panel according to their own preference. Rest of the operating system is very stock Android-like. Now let's talk about its most innovative feature, the S Pen. The Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus comes with a new improved version of the S Pen that can do a lot. Users can from afar manage the phone with the S Pen. One can perform things like switching between the cameras, swapping between modes and even clicking pictures with it from a distance. Think of it as a remote control for your mobile. The S Pen gets charged on its own as soon as you put it back into the holder. One can get up to 10 hours of battery life with it. So overall the S Pen is an innovative addition to the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Coming to its camera performance, the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus has 4 cameras at the back. A 12 megapixel telephoto camera, 12 megapixel wide angle sensor, a 16 megapixel ultra wide camera and the last is the depth vision sensor. Some might say 12 megapixel is so yesterday. However, here the optics and pro grade sensor technology does a wonderful job. No matter what the external conditions you are in, we were able to get some fabulous shots during the day and even in low light. The subjects were sharp and the colors were very close to light. In some cases, even vibrant. But what we loved shooting with the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus are the videos. These are exceptional and with the zoom mic capability, which we first thought to be a gimmick, actually works in 9 out of 10 scenarios. Well, unless you are on a super noisy road in Chabni Chowk, it wouldn't work. Another mode that we loved on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus is the night photography mode. We were able to extract some great shots, most of them with the tripod because we said, why not? Since we have the S Pen which works as a remote control, let's get the best shots possible. The front camera is powered by a 10 megapixel selfie sensor. A single camera is there but that is enough to take good daylight shots. Night shots, not so much. Lastly on the performance benchmark, let's talk about its battery life. The Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus comes with a 4300 mAh battery inside. We knew it would last for a whole day with good amount of usage and daily tasks. However. To our amazement, it did last for more than a day, 32.5 hours to be exact, which included an hour of gaming and 25 minutes of navigation. So what is my verdict and final words? Atropy 79,990 and it is almost a perfect buy and is definitely an Android biggie in the group of flagships. The in-display fingerprint reader works nicely and so does the face unlock system. It does a fabulous job with the screen, S Pen and video capabilities. AR is there and I'm sure will become better with time. But at the moment, most will not use it. Bixby, I'm still not a big fan of. However, Google Assistant does most of the cool AI jobs when needed. So who should buy it? Well, if you want a large screen experience with good cameras, want to make great videos and content, or want rock solid security for your business needs, this is the smartphone for you. Note 10 Plus has something for everybody. I give it a rating of 4.2 stars out of 5. 
all right guys so that was my review of the note 10 plus if you did like the video go ahead and press that subscribe button followed by the bell icon don't forget to give us that thumbs up my name is Sulab. you're watching gadget bridge i'll see you next time